Welcome, this is Mystic Intuition bringing you your 72 hour read for December 27th through the 29th. Please keep in mind time is fluid, so these could be fast. Current or future events for you. If it does not resonate at all, please try checking your moon, rising, and being a signs for love. I'd like to thank all of you guys for 600 subscribers. I am just over the moon blessed to have so much love and support from you guys. It means the world to me. I'd like to let you guys know that in this and any future readings that I put out, you can now look for the description box. I have timestamps listed there for you so that you can skip from my announcements to my pre-shuffle messages and even go directly to the readings themselves. For this reading, I will have each uh, sign times time stamped so that you can easily access the messages you'd like to hear. <clears throat> My uploads are done in reverse astrological order from Pisces to Aries for way of additional messages and guidance. In the description box, you can now find my upload schedule so that you'll know that which week, which videos I put out. Alright, we're going to start off with air signs for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful holiday. This should go up before Christmas. Can't believe this year is almost over. It's crazy. For Gemini, we have gentleness, we have faith for Libra, and we have balance for Aquarius. Alright, for air signs, let's get you guys a general message for your sign. Somebody bring an apology, someone trying to bring passion back into your life, somebody wants um, a new chapter with you. Again, this is a general message, not going to resonate for everyone. Somebody's been holding back their feelings, you're trying to protect your money, but there's a possibility for a passionate new beginning. Yeah, you might be a little bit defensive in regards to this individual. They want a victory with you. They're trying to return from the past. This is somebody bringing an apology? They're bringing some kind of truth here. They want a victory with you. They want to win you at no cost. You're kind of a little bit withdrawn, a little indecisive here. You don't know. I think you you want to move on. Maybe move with this person. You feel too much burden to move on with this. Move with this person. You're trying to hold back, keep your strength against this individual. You may just sever ties with this person. If you're looking for stability and commitment. They might be promising you that. Alright, that's just your general message. It may or may not resonate at all with your sign specific. <clears throat> Alright, for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Alright. For Gemini, we have gentleness. So be gentle with yourself. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're dealing with, remember that, you know, you're a human being. I'm hearing some of you may feel like you're making a mistake or you're making the wrong choice or decision. We are all learning and growing together. Just be kind to yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Allow yourself to make mistakes. And it may be a message too that someone maybe need to approach a situation gent gently. Be maybe I'm hearing the compassion. I'm seeing that card in my head. The emperor. Okay. You're going through a situation. There's a lot of um, anxiety and stress. You took control of a situation in regards to somebody, Gemini. You took control of a situation. Um, I, I would urge you, if you did not hear the um, air sign general message, to listen to that. It may resonate for you. Um, with the emperor here, you took control of the situation. You cut somebody off and you're having a lot of anxiety. A lot of air energy here, Aries energy. There was some type of truth, some type of communication that came through. It was a little bit harsh, it was cold, like you really severed ties with someone, you cut that distance out, you're trying to take control of your life, and you know, just to remind you to be gentle with yourself, be kind to yourself, you're doing the best that you can, and you're trying to make decisions for your life, Gemini, that are going to affect you positively in the future, so be kind to yourself. It may be hard, no matter what the situation was, that you had to cut out of your life, I mean, this doesn't have to apply to love. This could be a friend or family member or something like that. But some, but something or someone was cut out of your life. And, you know, I think you have a lot of anxiety about it. There was some type of truth that came out with this. Just be kind to yourself while you're trying to heal, okay? All right, that's just a very specific message, I feel like. For Libra, we have faith here. 
have faith in the situation, have faith in yourself that you can see it through. You're seeing signs. I feel with the bird here, I feel like you're seeing signs from like the universe trying to guide you from God, whatever higher power you believe in. You're seeing signs from the universe. Just trust yourself. Have faith in yourself. Yeah, you walked away from a situation, Libra. Again, I feel like this does kind of correlate a little bit with the pre-shuffle uh, air message. So if you didn't listen to that, please go back and hear it. <clears throat> you walked away from someone. They've been trying to come back in, offer you passion, offer you a new beginning. And you're not accepting their cup. You know, it could be vice versa too, but you're rejecting this person or you're feeling ignored, one of the two, but there was a separation between the two of you. Now this person's back and they're trying to offer you their cup, they're trying to offer you emotion, but all you're seeing from this individual is less passion, traction, desire. They want to be passionate and intimate with you, but you walked away from this person, I feel, and you're, I don't think you're allowing them back in. You're having faith in yourself that you're making the right decision here. Um... We've got fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, water, air. For Aquarius, balance. You're trying to find balance in a situation. You're trying to trust yourself right now. You're trying to juggle a lot of things going on in your life and find the happy median. Yeah, you're overwhelmed. There is so much going on in your life right now, Aquarius. I really feel like all of these readings have correlated with the, in some way, to the pre-shuffle messages for air signs. So if this resonates, please check that message out as well. You're overwhelmed. There's so much on your plate. I feel like there's someone who's been in and out of your life. And it's like this emotional battle within yourself. This could apply to Crosswatcher, but I feel like it's the passion's there with this person. The attraction's there. They come in talking like Prince Charming, but they, they show up as this this knight of wands, someone who's here for the passion. It's just conflict with this person. There's so, I feel like you have plenty of choices. You're trying to find that happy medium, that balance here in your life. And you're not sure if this person is that for you right now, Aquarius. This person just brings too much conflict, too much competition. I feel like you have a lot of people competing for your affection. All right. <clears throat> that was the message for air signs. It may or may not resonate. If it did, please like, comment, subscribe. If it didn't, please check your other placements, particularly your moon, rising, and Venus signs. We're going to move on to Earth. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for December 27th through the 29th. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. For Taurus, we have hope. For Virgo, we have kindred spirits. For Capricorn, we have enchantment. Let's see what messages we can get for the weekend. Alright, just so for your pre-shuffle, you've been waiting for something for a long time. Keep in mind, these are general messages that may or may not resonate. You've been waiting for a union with someone, for someone to reciprocate and share their emotions with you. You're wanting a victory with this person. You want to come together with this person. The tower may have fallen in your life or theirs, and you're still just waiting. You're waiting for this happiness, for this abundance. You're waiting for the sun to come out after the rainstorm, right? You're having a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights about this beginning. I think you've had some kind of enlightenment about this person. You're feeling very emotional here. There's a lot of messages coming in between the two of you. Yeah, there's, you feel a very um, strong soul tie to this individual, soulmate connection. You feel like rejected or ignored. You feel like you've been waiting too long. You feel such a significant pull for someone could be in an existing commitment or relationship or you could just feel a very spiritual tie here. There's a lot of love between the two of you. I think you intuitively know this. This person may come off cold, a little bit guarded with their emotions. This person may have walked away in the past. You could have been married to this person or you could be in a commitment. So you nurturing this idea, nurturing this idea of being together, visualizing a future together. You've been really resting and contemplating this. You're heartbroken that you're not together right now. You feel like it's just a matter of destiny, time, and fate until this new offer, this new beginning takes place. There's a lot of messages and communication about a new beginning to the two of you coming in. I think it's going to be swiftly and very unexpected. Yeah, this new offer comes in very quickly, very unexpected. 
Alright, that was our general message. It may or may not even resonate with your readings. It's just general messages that are meant for someone out there. Right. For Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Alright, sorry about that. I had to let my dog out. For Taurus, we have hope. You're hoping for things to change. You're hoping for the situation to improve. I'm seeing six... Six coins here, six of pentacles. When I initially saw this, I thought about the seven of pentacles and about growth. So you want equal um, reciprocity. You want equal reciprocation from this individual. You want things to be balanced and just. You feel like you've waited a long time. You're hoping the situation will change or improve. Oh. I can read this in two ways. I'm going to read it both. Please just take it how it resonated. If it does not, it's not your story. Some of you could have been in a higher level of commitment, either with this person or someone else, and that's ending, and now you're trying to heal and find balance here. We have water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, Scorpio, we go with the death card, Sagittarius energy with temperance here. This is about healing, you know, um, healing from a commitment that you're trying to hope that you can see through and that you can heal and move on within time. Patience. One cycle ends, so a new one can begin. At one point, you may have been very happy with this individual, but things are coming to a close here. For others of you, this person is, someone in this connection is leaving behind a higher level of commitment to heal a relationship with you. They're start, they're closing one chapter and beginning a new one with you. They want to heal the situation. They see the abundance between the two of you. And they're closing one cycle out of their life. Whether they're leaving their, their job, where they live, they're moving closer to you. Something's ending in their life. could be a relationship. And they're moving towards you because you're their ten of cups. And that's where they find their healing and their happiness. Alright. For Virgo, we have kindred spirits. So Virgo, you've encountered someone who you feel a very strong connection with. This person, as soon as you met them, it was like you've known them your whole life. I kind of get that feeling of deja vu as soon as I pick up this card. Like, I've done this before. You know, I've, I've met you before. I've looked into your eyes before. I felt this kiss before I'm hearing for some of you. It's like that first kiss feels like a memory. It's strange. That's really weird. Okay, that could be very specific. All right, let's take a look at your cards. Oh, wow. Oh, Virgo. You guys, I think you've been a bit at a, a crossroads here. I think you really want this victory with this person. This could be your twin flame. This could be your soulmate. This could be somebody very significant in your life. Obviously, twin flame doesn't resonate for everyone, but we have the 11-11 card here. We have a lot of fire, energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You've been a little indecisive, but I think you're deciding that you want this victory with this person. You can't um, pull away from this pool, this connection, this chemistry you feel with this person. It's like a familiarity, a feeling of being at home with this person. And you want a victory with this person. I think you're making a choice here. You're making a decision here to move toward this. Alright, for Capricorn, we have enchantment. You've encountered someone. Or you have been the enchantress yourself. Um, somebody here. <clears throat> I feel that somebody here has met someone that they're just so captivated by. They're enchanted by. They're mesmerized by you Capricorn or you've met someone who does this to you they affect you in this way you can't stop thinking about this person oh wow 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 earth signs <laughs> we have a lot of earth energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn we have water energy Cancer Scorpio Pisces we have two nines here and a ten this is about things coming to a completion okay I see abundance here I see somebody single, confident, independent, really standing in their power. And I think Capricorn, you're their wish fulfillment or vice versa. You know this has the potential to be very stable, very grounded, very committed. You know this could be very emotionally fulfilling. This is where you're happy. This is where your contentment is. This is what you want, right? And I see this progressing. It's moving from a 9 to a 10 here. Things are progressing. This is about commitment, connection, longevity, stability. This is where it's at. This person, they can't get over you, Capricorn, or vice versa. I feel like the two of you have the same effect on one another. I feel like you are just wish fulfillment, and I do feel like this is going to a higher level of commitment. So that is beautiful, Capricorn. 
I do encourage you guys to also listen to the um, sign-specific messages. I'm starting to do those in my weeklies. Alright, now we're going to move on to fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What messages, guidance, and clarity can we get for our fire signs for December 27th through the 29th? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aries, we have Christ, Leo, Shadow Self, Sagittarius, we have Playfulness, Alright, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, what messages do we have for the weekend? I'm going to go ahead and do you guys a um, pre-shuffle message that may or may not correlate with the actual readings themselves. They're just general messages for fire signs. Alright, Heartbreak, Walking Away from a Situation. Okay, you've been hurt in the past, maybe. You're looking for happiness. You're looking for happiness. You want to build and grow. You want to work on this. Work on something with someone. You feel a little bit withdrawn, though. I feel like you're not really going out. Your intuition is kicking in, though. You're seeing signs. You're having some anxiety about this. Yeah, death card. Justice card. You want justice in a situation. Death to always. Uh, birth to new beginnings. You're being really strong right now. You've really rested. You're trying to heal. You're watching someone or they're watching you. They're trying to gain clarity information. They really rested on this decision to move towards you, I feel. They've been a little bit indecisive in the past. You might have been defensive toward this individual, but they're still watching you. They can't keep their eyes off of you. They feel this happily ever after but with you they feel the sense of completion like one cycle closing a new cycle beginning they want to offer you this abundance this cup of love they want it all with you this person can't stop watching you they can't stop watching if you walked away from this person in the past they can't stop walking watching you and they're watching you step into your own power they want to charge in here <clears throat> and if you know you've been hurt in the past they're sensing this they feel a soulmate connection with you they feel this is divinely like guided they want to re-enter your life Someone here from your past returning here. Strong soul ties to this person. Keep in mind, if this isn't the person that hurt you, this is someone who's, you know, observed this or watched this. They want to manifest a new beginning with you. They want to create something new. They feel left out in the cold from you. This person wants healing. They want balance. They've been very patient. They want some kind of truth or communication. They want to speak to you. They want to arrive in here passionately. They want to return from the past. They see you at your work. Those are just general messages. They may or may not resonate with your readings. Alright. For Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. For Aries, we have Grace. You're trying to keep your composure here. You're trying to stand in your power. You're trying to... I'm feeling this really regal energy. I'm going to pick up this card. It's like you're just trying to hold your head high. You're trying to keep yourself together. You're trying to walk around through some type of change or shift in your life and hold on to your dignity, hold on to your grace. You're trying to present yourself like you have it all together. I feel like it's been very hard and very challenging for you at times, Aries, but you're trying to look like you have it all together, okay? Yeah, there's um, passion on the horizon. Somebody wants to win you at all cost. This person, they have a lot of physical attraction, a lot of sexual chemistry with you. They are very attracted to you. They want to win you. They want you. You're holding your head high. I feel like the sense of regalness kind of surrounding you, like you've just got yourself together. You're still really working on yourself, really standing in a good place. You're indecisive about whether or not you want this because you want love. I'm not seeing that here. Now, this person doesn't feel it, but they don't express that to you, Aries. This person comes in here for the passion. It's all, you're beautiful, you're sexy, you're gorgeous. You know, they're not telling you how they feel about you. You're indecisive about this person. You're trying to hold your head high and make your own decisions and get your own clarity. We have a lot of fire energy here. We have a little bit of air. <clears throat> For Leo, we have shadow self. There are things that you've kept in the dark. 
secrets, mysteries, things that you're not telling anybody about. These are things that you desire that you're not making known to people. Things that you're guarding. Secrets of your heart. Your true desires, your dreams, your goals. What you envision in the future. For some of you, this is a reconciliation. For others of you, this is just a celebration with someone. After you have this new start with someone, we have water, energy, air, earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person wants a reason to celebrate with you. I think you want this too. I feel like this is something you've been guarding. You're not telling a lot of people about you. you want this victory. You may have to physically move to be with this person or move to see this person or move with this person. But there's a new stable beginning between the two of you and you want to celebrate. You want to, I'm hearing reconcile for some of you. You want to rejoice and celebrate with this person. You want this new beginning and you want to move to peaceful waters with this person. Because that's your deepest desire. I don't think you're telling a lot of people about either. Please make sure to go back and um, watch the sign specific um, channeled messages as well. They may or may not resonate for some of you. All right, for Capricorn. No, wait, no, no. Sagittarius. <laughs> you could be dealing with a Capricorn. <laughs> we have playfulness here. Remember to have fun, you know, go out. I know Capricorn's Sagittarius. Why do I keep saying Capricorn? <laughs> you guys have been probably, you know, really working really hard. The holidays coming up, working really hard, busy, busy, busy. You've had little time for yourself. Have fun. Go out. Have a night to yourself. Go out with the guys, the girls, whatever. Have a good time. Enjoy yourself. Flirt, you know. Alright. Something ended in your life and you're trying to take control of the situation here. You're trying to stand in this um, this energy of just having yourself together, independent, confident, single, you know. You're feeling left out in the cold in regards to an individual and I'm also hearing that if you went through any kind of separation or any kind of painful ending, you've kind of distanced yourself and thrown yourself into your work. And like you've been isolating yourself from your friends and family and having fun and, you know, spirits encouraging you to go out and, you know, have a good time and celebrate, rejoice. You've been through a lot of pain, you've been through a lot of heartache, and it's just time to kind of stand in this power here. You're in a good place. Go have fun, recapture that. It's really important for you, Sagittarius, to have fun. You know, and if it wasn't like an ending or a separation with someone, it was just something painful from the past that you're still recovering from, you're trying to put behind you. I know especially that's harder in the holidays, especially if you guys are in, have some kind of ending or separation, you know, with someone you feel left out in the cold, you've just been throwing yourself into your work, earning your money, doing your own thing. You haven't been focusing on yourself and having fun. You know, you've just been so busy with work, 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 work. All right. That's what we have for fire signs. We're going to move on to water. If you like that please like comment subscribe make sure to go check out the um, um science specific element <laughs> the element um pre-shuffle messages now i'm starting to see those see if you guys like those Throw water cancer scorpio and pisces cancer celebration freedom for scorpio for pisces we have sanctuary all right what do we have for our water signs what messages guidance and clarity can bring to water signs for december 27th through the 29th 2015 move into your pre-shuffle message. This is just general message for water signs. It may or may not resonate with you. Um, it could be for just one specific person. It may or may not resonate with your actual readings or just general messages that spirit brings me for someone. All right. Someone feels like they're getting away with something or they're having to do something quietly. They kind of want to heal a situation. They want to heal themselves. They feel like there's been a lot of competition or conflict. This could be someone from your past, someone that you're someone that you left out in the cold or they left you out in the cold you're having some anxiety here missing somebody they're missing you they want to offer you their emotion now this person's now kind of taking control of the situation they want to offer you stability and now you're still you're having anxiety about it your walls are up against this individual you're not quite trusting this person they want a new chapter with you 
They want you to take a risk on them. You want justice in this situation. You want to make sure that things are balanced and equal and fair. In order for this new opportunity in love with this person, you may come off cold if you don't trust this person. This person feels rejected. I saw the Ace of Cups and Four of Cups. They feel rejected by you. You feel like this person's, maybe they got something over on you in the past and you rejected their offer or vice versa. Or there's just energy of feeling rejected because I'm here for some of you. This is like a secret. Not that it's in a bad way. It doesn't have to be that way. It can just be that you're not telling friends and family about it. You're just kind of keeping it quiet, keeping it to yourself. This person, they feel trapped. They want to make you this offer. They don't think you're going to accept it. They want you to take this risk. They want, here's that offer. They want you to take a risk on them. They're visualizing you in their future. They want a new cycle, a new chapter with you. They've been watching you. They want to move straight forward to you. They can't stop. When they're watching you, they just want to charge at you. They want to come straight for you. They see you as the empress. They see you as a catch. They don't think anybody compares to you. They feel a very, a very spiritual connection. For you feminines, they feel you're their twin flame or um, divine counterpart. All right. <clears throat> That's just a general message. May or may not resonate with you. It's just a general message that spirit wants me to pass along to someone. All right. Moving into your reading. For Cancer and Pisces. For Cancer, you have celebration. This reminds me of the Three of Cups. You're celebrating something. A victory. Maybe it's a promotion. Maybe you've moved to a location you've always wanted to move to. Maybe you reunited with someone. Maybe you're celebrating an engagement. Whatever it is for you, you're celebrating. It's a good time, right? You're having a good time. Hell yeah. Someone wants to bridge the distance with you. They really find you very attractive, Cancer. They they see you in this very confident queen of wands energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with Page of Cups. This person could be apologizing for something, maybe for not seeing your value and your worth before in the past. They want to celebrate. They want a victory. They want a reunion with you. They're feeling the distance, emotional, physical. They could be consultant tarot readers. They could be, <clears throat> you know, consulting the magic eight ball, that kind of thing. They're trying to get answers here. They're watching you from afar they're visualizing a future with you they see you know your beauty your worth male or female doesn't matter <clears throat> they're very attracted to you they want to make you this offer they want to express their emotions to you they may want to bring an apology so they can celebrate and be with you they want to close the distance here all right for scorpio we have freedom this is breaking the chains that bind you okay whatever restricts you whatever you makes you feel trapped or isolated you're letting that go you're moving forward. Maybe you're freeing yourself from something or someone or just a way of thinking. There was an ending here. It was a painful one, a separation. Your walls are up here defensive. You're blocking this person's advances. They're just watching you from afar. They're, they're going to try to come back in here and approach you. But you, when, as soon as they travel to see you, you're blocking them. No, no, no. Not, I'm not dealing with this again. I'm freeing myself from this situation. No more. I'm done with this. There was an ending here. It was very, very painful. This person, they want to reunite with you. They're visualizing you in the future. But you're not letting this person anywhere near you again. You're free. Okay? You're finding your happiness. You're working on you. Let me get you one more card. Yeah. Things weren't balanced in the past. They were reciprocated to too many people. Or they just, things weren't balanced. Were not equal in the past. We've got air, fire, earth energy, a little bit of everything out here. You're freeing yourself. You want to make sure that anything in the future is balanced. Okay? You're blocking this person out of your life. It was too much pain. You're free now. Okay. For Pisces, we have Sanctuary. This is about that place or that person who makes you feel safe. This is that place where you can feel, feel free to be yourself, to rest, to recuperate, to, re to you know, regain your strength spiritually, emotionally, physically, mentally. It's, it's, it's just rest. It's about rest. It's about feeling safe and secure somewhere with someone, maybe, for some of you. Oh, this person, they're missing you, Pisces. You're taking a break. You're kind of a little bit withdrawn right now. This person's watching you heavily. There was a lot of passion between the two of you, a lot of uh, physical chemistry, attraction, a lot of um, desire between the two of you. Very passionate. They're missing you. They're crying over these spilled cups. We have fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a little bit of water here. They're missing you and they're watching you from a distance here. 
yeah, this person wants a ten of cups with you. At one point, things were really good, really harmonious, but for some reason, this person's feeling the distance. They're feeling your absence. Maybe you separated because things weren't equal, or you just, or whatever, whatever it was, or you're just withdrawing yourself. If you're not separate, you're just withdrawing yourself, taking time for you. And this person's missing you desperately. They, they, they're feeling the absence. They're watching you. They desperately want this passion. They definitely want this emotional connection and fulfillment with you. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They want it all with you. They're visualizing you in the future. They're trying to gain some clarity. For some of you, you could be in a higher level of commitment. They're watching you and missing you. Because, you I mean, we do have, you know, missing each other and passion here. And then we have somebody spying on this um, Ten of Cups. So, I mean, however that resonates for you. But they're feeling the absence. They're watching you, Pisces. All right. That's what I have for you for... December 27th, the 29th. I hope that you like this reading. You should, guys should be seeing this before the holidays. So I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. I hope that you have a beautiful holiday. I am wishing you all strength and many, many blessings. You can now find donation links in the description box below if you'd like to contribute to the channel in that way to compensate me for my time. Also to um, help me buy cards, crystals, uh, sage, whatever I use to meditate over the cards and perform these readings for you. It's always greatly appreciated. I want to thank you all so much for all the love and support that you've shown this channel. <sighs> I'm so very, very grateful. I don't even know how to express it. Thank you guys so much. It's just, I'm so overwhelmed with how much love I've received and how quickly this channel has grown. It just means so much to me. Um, I'm getting really emotional. Um, this is my dream. I've always wanted to do this and it just means the world to me. And I'm so excited to start the new year and bring you more readings. Thank you guys so very much. Wishing you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.